Okay, congratulations on the film. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, what I'd love to know, particularly first off from you, SJ, you have experience in the superhero world, but not this scale. So why did you decide that Madame Web was the one that you wanted to take to the big screen? Well, I have to say what I loved about it was the fact that it was unlike the others. And I love the fact that at its core, it's a character piece in many ways. And the, I saw the potential for it to be a psychological thriller. And I thought that's a very exciting opportunity to take great characters, a really interesting superpower, and wrap it up into a psychological thriller. And the first are, you have such a huge body of work behind you. You've done so many different genres. But this is your first big action piece. So what was it like for you? And is that what drew you to the film? Uh, yeah, it was fun, first of all, to project yourself uh, in a superhero suit and uh, fighting and all. But then when you read the script and uh, we start to talk with SJ, I, uh, I realized that it's more than fun. You know, it's about uh, real people who are trying, for my character, trying to survive. Anyway, fighting for survival. And uh, it's different from other Marvel movies. Psychological thriller, grounded in your reality, talking about lonely people who will end up forming a real family. So it felt more like a um a movie like the type of movies i would do uh put in a marvel world not the other way around it was a challenge though to take on working with with the with blue screen and green screen and things that you as far as i know you haven't really done that kind of thing before so to step into that world was it, was it <clears throat> like what was that like <laughs> at first it's a little it's a little strange but when you start to play with it, you you have to take advantage of, of it in, in some ways. So when, you know, when you dive in, you realize that it opens up your uh, imagination. So it's even more than what human beings can create. You see what I mean? Like yeah. a dream. So, uh, so yeah, it was, it was good. Not as hard as I thought. Uh, one of the things that really strikes me is that it is obviously, it is, it's, it's all females, it is girl power to the hilt. But what I really love is with the younger characters that it will really connect with a younger female audience. I was thinking of my own little niece. Uh, how important it was that for you to, to get, uh, sorry, for, yeah, to get them, get, a, get the, the young girls involved in this crazy world? Well, I think it's, you know, it sounds like a bit of a cliche to say, you know, there was nothing out there when I was growing up. But somebody mentioned about this film earlier being in 2003 and being vintage. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm vintage. But it was if I think about back when I was sort of going to the movies, there weren't that many female superheroes or even heroes, to be honest with you. So it was really important to me that we kind of use, utilize these characters and sort of like bring them to life in this way. And to have so many of them in one movie is just such an exciting opportunity and hopefully will you know be there on screen for many to look up to you mentioned the vintage thing i was a bit shocked at the start i saw 2003 i was like that's not that long ago and then i realized it's 20 years ago and i i, were, I think we're about the same age and i was kind of horrified <laughs> but you really I know it's really scary, but you've really created a great sense of that time, the soundtrack, the, even the, the Beyonce ads, that kind of thing. Uh, how important was it and how much did you enjoy kind of recreating that time that turns out was actually a very long time ago now? It was so much fun until one of the younger cast members would go like, what is that? And I'd be like, <laughs> well, oh, this is normal for so long. But, you know, they, uh, it was it was really good fun. But I also didn't want it to be sort of 2003 in your face. I, I it tried to get a timeless quality to it so that it feels like it could be any time. But there are those hints of it, like you say, in the in the movie posters and the, and the you know, Beyonce poster and, and the music, you know, which was such a fun time as well. And it's sort of that music seemed to resonate with those characters. You know, I really felt that they would get up and dance to Britney you know it was of, it was of a time but it was it was really fun and when those flip phone flip phones came out and they <laughs> the young the young uh, cast saw them it was quite entertaining <laughs> and then I thought I feel old yeah, well, th thank you for doing that to me as well. Thanks very much. But aside from that, I really enjoyed Hi. the film. <laughs> I know, we were like, wow, <laughs> this was awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. I um, really enjoyed it. And, yeah, uh, you're welcome. Look at the release. All right, thank you.